higher math straight line lesson three. In lessons one and two, we looked at the gradient of straight lines and discovered that the gradient of the line is equal to tan of the angle that the line makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. And we should have done the work associated with that from the Heinemann textbook. Today in lesson three, we're going to look at lines that are collinear. So if we think about two lines, on a plane or just on a flat surface. They could either be like in similar to what we've got here. So you've got a line that meets at point B and another line there. So they do share a common point. They both go through B, but they're at an angle to each other. So they, they don't make a straight line. You could also have parallel lines. So here we've got S and T and U and V. They're never going to mix the parallel. Or we could have the third example we have here. P and Q and Q and R are parallel. And they do form a straight line, unlike A, B and C here. And the reason why they do that, they have the same gradient. So we could work out the gradient of each one just to show the gradients are equal, which would mean that they're parallel. And they also share a common point. They share a common point Q. So here we have parallel lines. Here we have two lines that share a common point, but here we have a combination of both. P, Q and Q are parallel, they also share a common point, Q. So points that lie on the same straight line are said to be collinear. So three points all lying on a straight line, they are collinear. So let's have a look at an example. So prove that the points A, B and C are collinear. So we need to look at the gradient of A to B and the gradient of B to C and show that they are equal. So again, gradient of AB here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, substitute in the values from here, we get negative 1. Gradient of BC, again, gradient formula, substitute in, negative 8 over 8, it's negative 1. So we know that AB and BC both have the same gradient. So it's either going to look like this, or like this. But we also know that they share a common point B. So AB and BC both go through point B. So that means that they must form a straight line because they've got the same gradient. Now, if the gradient was different, it would look something like this up here. So as AB and BC have the same gradient and they share a common point, comma B, state the common point, AB and C are collinear. You must make that statement when you're doing these questions. Okay, and that is it for collinear, collinear, for collinear lines. So have a go exercise 1B from the Heinemann textbook, questions 2, 5, 6B, D, E, and F, 8, and 9.